everyone and welcome back to Chardet Crochets. For this tutorial we will be making a really cute um, either a beach skirt or a baby doll top and uh, you can do either look. They're both the same so the only difference is we just are putting some cups on top of the skirt. Um, I originally wanted it to be a baby doll top but the skirt part was really cute. So I decided to just make sure I recorded that it could be a skirt as well. So what you will need is you will need a medium weight four yarn. I used about about a thousand yards. Um, so for I love this yarn. I used about three skeins. I had a little bit left over from the third skein, but yeah, I'd say it's about a thousand yards, and I made a medium. I think uh, yardage wise it would be around you would need around 950 to maybe maybe 1400 to be safe um, for maybe like 3x but other than that yes so you will need a medium weight for yarn and then the main hook I used is the F hook which is a 3.75 millimeter hook this is the main hook of the project. Um, you can do your entire project with this hook. That's fine. But um, for the ribbing part, I always like to use a smaller hook just because it makes the ribbing a little more stretchier and fitted and snug. Um, so I used a D hook for my ribbing and then I used like an E hook. So the D hook is a 3.25 millimeter hook and the e-hook is 3.5 millimeters and I used just the e-hook for like the one um, the one single crochet row that's like above and below my ribbing so I did one single crochet row here and one down here and I used the e-hook just for that briefly um, yeah so that is what you will need and then you'll also need a couple of me measurements it depends on if you're going to do the skirt or if you're going to do um the top because if you're doing the top you're just going to have to measure around your shoulders and i'll put kind of what i think it is for the sizes on the screen i know like medium is usually around 40 for the um for the shoulders and then also I'll put on the screen some suggested hip measurements, but you can just take that measurement yourself if you want it more tailored to one uh, to a specific person. Um, but other than that, let's go ahead and get this is kind of what I think the sizes are for small, medium and large up on the screen there. So you can also follow that if you don't want to measure. OK, so I'm going to start off with a slip knot and I'm also starting off with my D hook, which is the 3.25 millimeter hook. Um, and I'm going to chain out eight chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. OK, and I'm going to let that first chain be my turning chain and then I'm going to work into the second chain from the hook and put one single crochet into that second chain from the hook and then one single crochet in every stitch across so I'll end up with seven single crochets in this row and seven Okay, so that's row one. Row two, we're going to chain one and turn. And now we're going to do our ribbing stitch. So normally we work through both loops. And for the ribbing, we're going to do back loop only stitches. So we're going to put one back loop only single crochet in every stitch across. So again, it should be seven single crochets but they'll all be worked into that back loop so that's five six and seven okay so that's what it looks like now 
And so we'll chain one and turn. And then we're gonna repeat row two by putting one back loop only single crochet in every stitch across. So seven back loop only single crochets. And we're gonna keep repeating this row until this ribbing is long enough to um, match the measurement that we took around your shoulders. So just continue repeating this row until it's that long and I will meet you there. All right, so once your band is long enough to stretch out to reach over your shoulders, now we're going to crochet the two ends together. So I'm just gonna pull this loop through by inserting my hook into the foundation side and then pulling, I did chain one before I did this too, but it doesn't matter if you do. Um, but I'm just gonna pull this loop through that first stitch space And then chain one and put a single crochet through both of the first um, stitches on both sides and then one single crochet in every stitch across but on both sides and you can also do slip stitch if you prefer to do slip stitch Okay, so that's what it looks like now. And that would be the front side and the ugly seam would be on the inside. So I'm just gonna flip this so that the seam is on the inside. And from here, I'm going to also make sure I crochet over this tail. If it's on the other side, it's okay because we're gonna work down here too. So you'll have an opportunity to crochet over that tail. Um, so now from here I'm just going to chain one and then I'm actually going to switch hooks to my E hook. If you're only using the F hook then don't worry about that part. But from here I'm just going to put one single crochet in the side of every stitch. Um, in the side of every row, sorry. So one single crochet in the side of every row and you can tell there's two rows in between the ridges so I'll be putting one here and then one here. So yeah we're just going to go all the way around this circle and put one single crochet in the side of every row until we get to the other side. And once you make your way all the way around, we're just going to slip stitch into that first single crochet of the round. And from here, our next row is similar, but if you were using an E hook at that point, now it's time to switch to your F hook. And if you are already using your F hook, then great, you can just keep using it. So from here, we're going to chain one, and we're not gonna turn, we're gonna stay on this side and we're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch across. Now I did make a note of it to try to count how many stitches you had in the last row. So if you didn't, you might wanna count those right now because in this row we need to make sure that we have a multiple of eight stitches in our row. So in my, for example, in my previous row, I had 116 stitches. The next number up, because we're not going to decrease to get to a multiple of eight, we're only going to increase. So 116 is what I had, so I need to get to 120 to be the next multiple up of eight. So I'm going to end up increasing four times here. So... This will be my first increase, and the way that you increase is just by putting two single crochets in the same stitch. So that's one in that 
one stitch and now we're going to put another one in that very same stitch so now we have two coming out of that stitch so I have to do that four times in this round but you will do it so that your round can reach um, a multiple of eight all right so once you make your way all the way around we'll just simply st slip stitch into that very first single crochet of the row and so now we're going to start on the skirt part which is the mesh part and so from here we're going to chain six so one two three four five six and this chain six counts as um, a double crochet and a chain three okay so that's how we're gonna do the beginning of uh, the row when we get to chain six and then skip three so this counts for the stitch that we uh, slip stitched in so that counts for that one so one two three and then in the fourth stitch we're gonna put a double crochet so one two three and in the fourth stitch is a double crochet okay so that's what it looks like and we're just gonna repeat that across so we're gonna chain three one two three skip three one two three and double crochet in the next stitch So chain three, one, two, three, skip three, one, two, three, and then double crochet in that next stitch. And we're just going to repeat this all the way down until we get to the other side. All right, so when you get here, we're going to, we have, you should have about three stitches left. If you're off, it's okay. We're just going to force it if you're off. But from here, chain three, one, two, three, and then we're gonna slip stitch into the third chain out of the six. One, two, three. So I'm gonna slip stitch into this third chain. I like to pick up two little loops there and then slip stitch. And that is that row. And this is the next row. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to, so the chain six again counts as a double crochet plus a chain three. So now we're going to, this time, double crochet into the same stitch. Like that. So we kind of have a V there. And now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to put a double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. And then double crochet into the same stitch. So we just put another V in the next stitch. So from here, chain three, one, two, three. And double crochet in the next double crochet chain three and then double crochet into the same stitch chain three double crochet in the next double crochet chain three and double crochet in the same stitch so that's kind of what we're doing as you can see it's definitely increasing it you can tell it's kind of increasing it as you keep going so this is the pattern that we're doing for the rest of this row this is what it looks like and I've chained three and now I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain of the chain six so one two three and slip stitch in there so that's kind of what it looks like now so from here, we're going to chain six once more. One, two, three, four, five, oh, five, and six. And that counts as a double crochet plus a chain three. And then we're going to double crochet in the next double crochet. So 
I'm just a double crochet there and then we'll chain three one two three and double crochet into the next double crochet and that's pretty much all we're doing for this row is chain three one two three and double crochet into the next double crochet chain three and double crochet into the next double crochet chain three and double crochet into the next double crochet chain three and double crochet into the next double crochet so that's pretty much all we're doing we're just doing regular double crochet in the next double crochet chain three and repeat so go ahead and do that all the way around okay so this is what it looks like now and I chained three and then I'm going to slip stitch to the third chain out of the six like that and from here we're just going to repeat that last row one more time so we're going to chain six one two three four five six and then we're going to uh, so that's a double crochet and a chain three and then we're just going to double crochet in the next double crochet chain three and double crochet into the next double crochet chain three double crochet into the next double crochet chain three and double crochet into the next so we're just repeating that all right and so I've chained three and now I'm gonna again slip stitch into the third um, the third chain from out of the six so slip stitch in there and that's what it looks like now and we're just going to repeat that one more time. And so we'll chain six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll double crochet in the next double crochet. And then chain three. And then double crochet in the next double crochet. And we're going to repeat that all the way around one more time. Okay, so now I'm done with that row and I've already chained three and now I'm going to slip stitch into that third chain out of the six and that's the end of that row so now we're gonna do a repeat pattern except every repeat is gonna change slightly so on the areas that came out of the V here, you see this one has no V, no V, and this one has the V base here at the beginning of the repeat. So we're always going to have to pay attention to which ones have this V because that's the one we're going to put another V in. So the way that we're doing this is we're going to chain six again. One, two, three, four, five six and then we're going to put a V stitch in the middle of this chain three space so what we're gonna do is put a double crochet in that chain three space there chain three one two three and then put another double crochet in this chain three space okay so it kind of looks like that and then from there we're going to chain three one two three and put another double crochet into the next double crochet like that so that's how we're doing that next V stitch so from here we're going to chain three one two three and then just double crochet in the next double crochet because it doesn't have a V. So we're only going to do that V thing where there's a V before a few rows back. 
So now we're just going to put a regular double crochet in the double crochet. And then from there we'll chain three, one, two, three, and put a V-stitch because we have a V-stitch below here. So we'll put a double crochet, chain three, and double crochet in the same chain three space. Okay, so now we've got another V here. Okay, and then from there we'll chain three, one, two, three, and just double crochet into the next double crochet. And then from there we'll chain three, one, two, three, and there's no V stitch, so we will double crochet in the next double crochet chain three and now we're on a v-stitch area so we're going to put a v-stitch in this next chain three so double crochet in the chain three space chain three and double crochet in the same chain three space and that's just going to repeat so chain three double crochet in the next double crochet chain three, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, and now we're on top of a V, so we're going to put a V stitch in that chain three space. Chain three and double crochet in the same space, and then chain three, and double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain three, no V stitch, so double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain three, now we're on a V stitch, so we're going to put a V stitch in that chain three space. chain three and double crochet on top of the next double crochet so you can see now that we are now increasing again so just go ahead and repeat this pattern all the way around and I'll meet you there all right so I've made my way all the way around and from here I'm just gonna finish off with a chain three like we've been doing and then slip stitch into that third chain out of the six. And that's what it looks like now. So you can see that this increase here is coming from where the initial increase was in that initial row there. Um, so now we have three rows of just kind of regular. So what we're gonna do is chain six, one, two, three, four, five, five, six. And then we're gonna just double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain three, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain three, double crochet in the next. So this pattern here is gonna repeat for the next three rows, row 9, 10, and 11 are going to be this same um, chain three and double crochet into the next double crochet. So go ahead and do rows 9, 10, and 11 and I will meet you there. All right, so now I'm wrapping up row 11. So I chained three and then I'm going to slip stitch to that third one, two, three, that third chain out of the six. And now we're going to um, do row eight one more time together. So just remember, because we're increasing, that the V stitch row changes. So we're only going to put another V where the Vs continue to be worked. So it'll be here on top of both of those Vs. 
So now we're going to chain six, and this is the last time we'll do the repeat together. Um, we'll chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to put one double crochet into the next double crochet until we get to the V area. So one more double crochet in the next stitch and then chain three. And now we'll put another V on top of this V. So we'll put one double crochet in that chain three space, chain three. And one more double crochet in the same space like that and then we'll chain three and start to put one double crochet in the next double crochet and chain three until we meet uh, until we reach the next V V stitch spot so as you continue this increase pattern it'll be more chain threes in between the next V. Chain three and double crochet in the next double crochet. And now we're at the V spot, the next V spot there. So now we're going to chain three and do a V in that chain three space below. Okay, and then we'll chain three and continue alternating between chain three and double crochet into the next chain three space or into the next double crochet, sorry. Chain three and double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain three and double crochet into the next double crochet and chain three so that's one two three and now I'm back at another V area there so now I'm going to put a V into the chain three space above the V below from a few rows back so we'll put a double crochet chain three and double crochet into that V stitch into that chain three space there okay and this is how our repeats gonna go so we're gonna repeat rows uh, five through eight that's what we're doing repeating rows five through eight and every time you do an, a repeat um, you'll just have more of these regular double crochet chain three double crochet chain threes before we get to another V spot so as you continue increasing that'll get bigger that area and um, I will let you know because I'm kind of making this up as I go so I will let you know how many rows I did okay so this uh, in the photo here this is what it looks like so far I've actually went to row 19 which is a row that is not an increasing row so I did four rows back I did an increase here and then um, I did the three rows to finish that repeat so this ended up being row 19 if you want to do another row of increases it would be row 23 but it's actually getting pretty full which is what I wanted I wanted kind of like a um, almost obnoxious princess type top for my birthday so it is pretty full already at row 19 so if you need this to be longer you don't have to continue to increase you can just add more rows of a non increasing row and until you get it as long as you like so I'm gonna put up on the screen because I haven't made it yet I'll put up here on the screen uh, how long the border is gonna be so that way you can kind of also gauge um, how much you want to play with this length um, but yeah other than that let's start on row one of the border okay chain seven one two three four 
five, six, and seven. And then this chain seven counts as a double crochet plus a chain four. So we're going to skip the um, chain space below like we've been doing and then double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and double crochet in the next double crochet. So that's all we're doing. Chain four and double crochet in the next double crochet. So repeat that all the way around just like we've been doing and I'll meet you there. All right, so I've made my way all the way around with this last row and I'm ending with a chain four and then I'm gonna slip stitch into that third stitch from the bottom, the third stitch out of seven and slip stitch. So now we're gonna chain 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, oops, and 18. So chain 18, and then we're going to put a treble crochet cluster into the 15th stitch from the hook. So I just know to take off three, so one, two, three, and that fourth one from the bottom. That way you don't have to count 15. But in the 15th stitch, we're going to put a treble cluster. So we're going to yarn over twice. So one, two, three, four. And in this stitch, I'm going to put a treble cluster. So I'm going to insert my hook into that stitch, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two, and I don't finish the last two. And then I do that again. So I'm going to yarn over twice, Reinsert my hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and don't finish. So now we have three loops on our hook, and then we're going to do that one more time. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that designated stitch again, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and now we have three trebles in this cluster so now we're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on our hook and that's what that looks like now and so from here we're going to just put a double crochet into the next double crochet okay so that's what that looks like now so now we're going to do another treble cluster, but now we have to start off with a chain four as a faux treble crochet. So chain four, one, two, three, four. And I'm just going to pretend that's my first uh, treble in the cluster. And then I'm yarn over twice. And this time we're going to work our cluster into the double crochet that we just made. So kind of the same place where the last cluster is going in. Okay, so yarn over twice, insert your hook into that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and don't finish, and do that one more time. And now we have our three trebles, so we'll yarn over and pull through all three. So that's what it looks like now. And so now we're going to put a double crochet into the next um, double crochet okay so that's what it looks like so far and it's it's a pretty easy actually so from here we're just going to repeat except that chain three counted as a double crochet so from here we're going to now chain 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13, 14, and 15. So we chain 15, and then we're going to put a, um, a treble cluster into that very first chain space of the 15. Or you can put it in the double crochet. Actually, I think I'm going to put it in the double crochet. So we'll yarn over twice, insert our hook into that double crochet, the top of that double crochet we just made, and pull up a loop and do our cluster. 
So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then you'll have two loops on your hook. And we'll do that two more times. And now we have four loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all four. And then we're going to double crochet into the next double crochet. And then we'll chain four. So we're gonna do the faux cluster into this double crochet here. So chain four. Or the treble crochet cluster, sorry. Um, chain four, yarn over twice, insert your hook. And we'll do two incomplete trebles into that stitch. And then we'll yarn over and pull through all three. And then double crochet in the next double crochet. So let's repeat it one more time together. So we'll chain 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we're going to work a treble cluster into this double crochet down here. And then yarn over and pull through all the loops. And then we're going to put a double crochet in the next double crochet below. And then we'll do another treble cluster with a chain four first. So one, two, three, four, and then finish the cluster. All right, and then we'll double crochet in the next double crochet. So this is how we are doing our border. And so make your way all the way around and I will meet you there. All right, so I've made my way all the way around and as you can see, I kinda am gonna be off and that's fine. Um, this is gonna be the center back anyway. So if you're off, if you're not in your alternating pattern when you get here, that's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Just follow the pattern. So I'm going to um, chain 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And then I'll do my cluster here. Okay, so I have my cluster and once you're done, whether you have the empty cluster or the one with the loop on top, you're just going to slip stitch where this other cluster is. So we'll slip stitch in there and that is the end of that row. Alright, so once you are done with this row by slip stitching, now we're going to start the next row. So what we're going to do now is slip stitch into this loop and then we'll chain two and then we're going to put 13 double crochets in this loop. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and 
13. Okay, so we're just putting 13 double crochets in that loop. And then, sorry, I have a knot. Okay, I got my knot. All right, so we have 13 double crochets here, and then we're just going to repeat that for every loop. So we're just going to yarn over and go straight into this next loop and put 13 double crochets in this loop. Ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So we're just going to keep repeating that pattern by putting thirteen double crochets in every one of these loops. And I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you make your way all the way around. And once you complete the last 13 double crochets in your very last loop, we're just going to go straight into that first loop, the first double crochet of the first loop and do a slip stitch. All right. And from here, we're going to skip the double crochet that we just put the slip stitch in. We're not going to chain one right now. We're just going to skip that one and then put a single crochet in the next five um, in the next five double crochets. So skip that first one and then single crochet in the next stitch one, two, three, four, and five. And then this next stitch should be the middle stitch of your loop. And in that middle stitch of, her, of your um, little arch here, we're gonna put a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet in the same stitch. Just like that and then from there we're going to put one single crochet in the next five stitches so one two three four and five all right and then you should have one double crochet left in this arch so we're going to skip that double crochet and the first double crochet of the next arch and repeat. So we're going to put, we're going to skip two and then put one single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then you should be on your middle stitch. In that middle stitch, we'll do single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet in the same stitch, and then one double crochet or one single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. All right. So that's kind of what it looks like so far. And we'll do one more together. So we'll skip two and put one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and then single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the same stitch. And then one single crochet in the next five, two, three, 
three, four, and five. So we will repeat that all the way around. And this is the last row of the bottom of our border. All right, so once you make your way all the way around with that last single crochet row, then we are going to um, end on that second to last single crochet or double crochet below and then skip that last double crochet and obviously we skipped that first double crochet so we're just going to slip stitch into that very first single crochet we did of the row and then we're gonna fasten off all right so after you are done with fastening off here we're gonna go ahead and turn our skirt to the top and if you are using your F hook only then obviously just use that but if you were using the D and E also then I'm gonna start off with my E hook because the side of these rows are um, D hook size so it might be too tight for the F so I'm just gonna find my seam area and then reattach the yarn so I'm just gonna pull through and make a double knot And I'll be crocheting over that tail as I go. So I'll reinsert my hook and pull up a loop and chain one. And then I'm just going to put one single crochet in every stitch or in the side of every row. So just like we did on the other side of the ribbing. Okay, so when you make your way all the way around with your single crochets in the side of the ribbing, then we'll just uh, go ahead and slip stitch in that very first single crochet of the row. That's a tight one. Oh, maybe that's my chain one. That's why. Okay, so slip stitch, and then we'll just go ahead and fasten off. So that was the last row, the very last row to complete the skirt. And I'll show you a picture of the skirt. Okay, so if you're done with the skirt, then you're good and you're done with this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it. But if you're making the top, then follow along with me and we'll make the cups. We'll just set our skirt aside for now. Okay, so this cup is made with the F hook, the 3.75 millimeter hook. So we will be making cups A through double D, and it's a pretty simple cup. So go ahead and make your slip knots, and then we're going to chain two, one, two. So really we're chaining one with a turning chain. So chain two. And then we're going to put one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, which is the first chain we made. So one single crochet in there. And it's just like a row with one single crochet. And then from there, we're going to chain one and turn our work. And then we're going to put three single crochets in that same, in that one single crochet below. So three of them in the same stitch. So one, two, and three. Now we have a row of three single crochets and that's row two. So let's do row three, chain one and turn. And now we're going to put one single crochet in the, in the first stitch. And then we're going to put three single crochets in that middle stitch. So one, two, and three. 
So three in the same stitch in the middle, and then one single crochet in that last stitch. So that was row three, and that's what it looks like now. So from here, we're gonna chain one and turn. And this is gonna be our repeating row, row four. So we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch until we reach that middle stitch. So right now we just have two, so we'll do one single crochet here and one in the next. And then we reached our middle stitch. And in that middle stitch, stitch we're gonna put three single crochets. So one, two, and three. And now we're gonna put finish off the row by just putting one single crochet in every stitch across until the end of the row. And we just have two right now, so one and two. And that's what it looks like now. So from here, we're just gonna be repeating row four. So let's do another row together. Let's chain one and turn. So this is row five. So we're gonna be putting one single crochet in every stitch across until we reach that middle stitch. So one, two, and three. And you'll notice it'll increase by one each time, like the last one we had two here. This time we have three, and now we're gonna have four before we reach the middle stitch in the next row. But one, two, three. And then when you get to the middle, we'll put three single crochets in that middle stitch. One, two, and three, like that. And then to finish out the row, we're just gonna put one single crochet in every stitch across. And that's what it looks like now. So we can do one more row together. This will be row six, chain one and turn. So we'll put one single crochet in every stitch until we reach the middle. And then when you reach the middle, we'll put three single crochets in the middle stitch. Like that. And then we'll put one single crochet in every stitch across until the end of the row. And that was row six there, okay? So we're gonna continue repeating this pattern, um, repeating that row. Um, so size A, cup size A, you're gonna repeat until row 17 is finished. Um, a B is gonna finish row 18, a C is gonna finish row 19, a D is gonna finish row 20, and double D is going to finish row 22. So keep repeating this pattern and I'll meet you there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and turn. And now we're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch across. So I'm going to go ahead and start on that. And then here, when you get to the middle, you're just going to continue to do one single crochet in every stitch across. So basically, we're just not increasing in that middle stitch anymore. We're just going straight across. And we're going to be repeating this row. So um, let's see. So in A cup, you're going to continue repeating just one single crochet all the way across until at least until row 28 is complete. A B is gonna go until at least row 30 is complete. A C is 31, a D is 33, and double D is going to go to at least row 36. And I'm just saying at least because this cup kinda provides a lot of um, center cleavage. So if you wanted to do a few more rows, you totally could um, if you wanted a little more coverage. So I'll show you what 
ends up happening I made my first cut before but once you start once you stop increasing it's just gonna round out that way so go ahead and finish the rows for your size and then you can like put it up against yourself and see if you like how it fits if you wanted to add like maybe one or two more rows here you definitely could um, we're gonna add one more row for our border here so just keep that in mind so maybe one or two more rows would be enough um, for extra coverage okay okay so this is what it looks like once you're done with your cup and once you you can hold this up against yourself and see if you want to do maybe one or two more rows but our border is going to have one row as well so just double check that this is enough coverage for you before you fasten off but then we're going to go ahead and chain one and tie off and then you want to repeat that for your second cup and so we're just gonna it's the same on both sides so you're just gonna take one of the cups and reverse it so that it is they they kind of face each other this uh, chevron here is gonna go on the outside of the bra cup and this non increasing part is going to be in the middle so now I'm gonna grab my skirt and kind of find the seam which it looks like the seam is right here and I'm gonna put the seam kind of in the center back and just hold it to see kind of where I would like my cups to be so this doesn't have to be perfect but we do know that a has 28 rows B has 30, C has 31, D has 33, and double D has 36. So we're actually going to be um, single crocheting one in every row. So you can correspond that, find your middle, and then correspond the stitches outward to kind of mark them off. So I'm kind of like going to find my middle based on... Um, based on this back seam being a center seam for me which is where right here so I'm just gonna find a middle I don't need it to be perfect and find a middle stitch there and so I made a D cup so I have 33 rows so I'm just gonna count out 33 rows that way and mark and then 33 uh, 33 stitches this way and mark so once you have your um, your markers in place for your waistband, now we're going to crochet the cups to the band. So I'm going to turn this inside out so that you so that the seams on the inside, and then I'm just going to match the outside corner to the outside stitch stitch marker. Like here. So once you have your cup aligned to the outside stitch marker, then we're going to take our new yarn and tie a double knot into that stitch that's marked off. And the corner stitch of your cup. So we're just going to double knot those together. And I'm going to try my best to get 33, <laughs> 33, so I'm going to pull up a loop, chain one, and then reinsert my hook into that same stitch on both ends, and do a single crochet. And then I'm going to try my best just to go one stitch at a time, um, one stitch in the side of every row of the cup and one stitch of the band and I need to kind of try to make sure that I get 33 stitches if it's a little bit off it's okay because 
this cup is actually well the skirt part is actually very full so like if your center back is a little bit off it's gonna be okay <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna go all the way across so mine's did really well I actually got my 33 in which was really cool so I'm gonna get my last stitch okay and now we've uh, reached the middle so just do the best you can if it's a little bit off just move your middle I guess um, but then you'll have to try to match the amount of stitches that you have on your first cup as your second just to kind of make sure that it's even okay so now I'm gonna remove this stitch marker I'm gonna leave that center stitch empty and just put one single crochet there I'm not gonna put the cup there and now I'm gonna start on this next stitch that's just how I counted if you counted um, using the middle stitch that's fine um, but now I'm gonna connect my next cup so I'm gonna insert my hook into the ribbing and this time the cup so the chevron's gonna be on the outside so I'm gonna match it to the um, the corner stitch here so I'm just gonna put this here and then match it to the corner stitch of the next cup um, continue with my single crochets along the side of every row of the second cup okay so this is what it looks like once you kind of have your two cups seam together from the inside and so now we're going to turn our um, garment to face the right side so that I'm working on the right side of my garment okay so now I turned it right side out and now we're going to go into our border and ties so we're almost done so I'm just going to kind of turn this on the side so we can work on the side of the cup here. Okay, so from here we're gonna make some anchors for the back just to kind of help support the breast area, support your girls. So from here, just go ahead and chain out 22 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So when you chain out your 22 chains, we're going to skip four chains, one, two, three, four, and then slip stitch into that next stitch into the fifth chain from the hook. And that's just going to be a little slot for us to put our tie into. And you can make that hole bigger if you would like, but... Um, that should be enough and then we're just gonna slip put one slip stitch in every chain back along this chain until we get back to the cup all right so once you're done with that that's what it'll look like and you should have a little hole at the top that we're gonna slip our ties through so from here what we're gonna do is uh, once you're done slip stitching we're just gonna start to put one single crochet in the side of every row going up the cup going up towards the top of the cup here so you should have um, the same amount of stitches as you do rows here for me what was I doing a D cup so that was 33 so it should be the same but just try to get it as close as you can as possible and I'll meet you when we reach the top of the cup there okay so once you reach the top of the cup now we're gonna do that top strap so it's also listed here on the screen but for size small you can chain out 260 chains a medium can chain out 275 a large can chain out 290 1x can do 300 chains 2x can do 310 and a 3x can chain out 300 
and 20 chains. All right, so once you've made your chain long enough for your size, um, fun part, now we're just gonna slip stitch back on down. So normally I just skip that first chain just to give me some space, and then I put one slip stitch in every chain space until I reach the cup again. So go ahead and put one slip stitch in every in every chain space until you get all the way back down to your cup and I'll meet you there. All right, so once you make your way slip stitching all the way back down that chain, now we're gonna um, single crochet into that same stitch, that same top corner stitch. And make sure too that you are crocheting, I didn't say it earlier, but crochet over these tails as you go. I'll try to make a note of that. But now we're gonna work down along the side of the cup here. Sorry, I'm trying to get my angle right. <laughs> Okay, that's a big puffy skirt down there. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna work along the side of these. Actually, it's not size of rows anymore, it's just actual stitches, so it should be really easy at this point. So now we're just gonna be putting one single crochet in every stitch, making our way down towards the center and I'll meet you in the center of the big of the um the center of the bra top okay so once you make your way down towards the middle it looks like I have maybe uh, a few stitches left one and two and those are all the stitches for that cup and then I have a, a little stitch in the middle so I'm just going to put one um, single crochet in the middle here. If you don't have a middle stitch, then you can just go straight into the second cup. And so, yeah, it's a really simple border, just single crochets. So basically, we're just going to mirror what we did on the other side. So you'll want to single crochet your way up to this top corner and then you'll do the same chain that you did on the first cup and then you'll single crochet your way back down try to do one single crochet in the side of every row and then when you get to this corner you'll chain 22 skip the four and slip stitch back down like we did this uh, first little guy right here so if you need to rewind any of that go ahead and do it but this is pretty easy just make sure you do the same amount of chains um, that you did on this side and just mirror this side perfectly and uh, I will meet you there okay so I've made my way all the way around and then I did my second little strap thing and then I'm just gonna slip stitch into that same space where I did my last single crochet coming down the cup and just slip stitch there and then um, then yeah fasten off chain one and cut and tie off and now we're just going to weave in any tails clip any tails that you need to and after you're done with that, we're going to just go ahead and do our straps. So I already did the first one, and I'm actually crossing the straps. So I'm putting this side over here. But um, you can also go straight if you want to just not have crossing straps in the back. But we're just going to weave them through this, the hole that we made here. And it is a smaller hole, so I kind of just used a hook to get it in there. And then I put my hook through my tie, my string, and I just pulled it on through like that. And that's how you, um, that's how you do your straps. Other than that, we are done. I hope you all really enjoyed this tutorial because I sure did. This is kind of like one of my dream tops that I finally had the courage to try. And then I was really excited that it actually was looking like a skirt. So I was able to get two looks out of one tutorial. So that's always a bonus. 
Anyway, thank you all so much for watching once again. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the no notification bell, and leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you just like the video. And I'll catch you on my next tutorial. Bye.